It's different Cam season. Yeah. yeah. But it looks like I believe Typhoon's won the toss and elected to kick. That's what I can only assume. As Bows takes the return out to the 25, gets by little by Alexander, but oh my god, he's at the 35 with space. The 40, 50, 45, tackled by JBL. Oh my Unfortunate god. that Bows got the ball there. If anybody else is there, they make a little move inside and take it to the crib. But Bows is a lineman. We appreciate you. <laughs> I mean, but still, a 46 yard kick return. Amazing game. We could have we could have seen a kick six on the first play of the game. That would have drastically shifted the tide. But... What do you think about Red Robin on board? Red Robin on line. I mean, it might be the best course of action for Shaq to put him there. Maybe not the matchup he wants or the most ideal matchup against Vortex, but it might be better than putting him out in coverage against, say, like Ralstock. And speaking of Ralstock, Shaq going went deep, but over, or not Shaq, excuse me, Days. I'm so used to Shaq and Ralstock on the same team, I just assumed it was Shaq throwing it to Ralstock. Oh, but Days bombing one to Ralstock, a little bit over. I do want to talk about Days' line here in a second as she rolls to the right, steps up in the pocket, almost hit by Cheesecake, throws one out to Seb, but a little bit too high. Seb unable to grab it, and... Days has a very solid line with Vortex and Bounce on the edges and Alexander at center. And Alexander is one of the players that I speak very highly of because he is so good and gets talked about so little, it feels like. is first down there for Days as she finds DJ for six. So first and ten coming up from the 30. On the right hash, two receivers left. And Days looking for maybe a first down run, but Cheesecake reading it, getting in the backfield for a sack. And Turtle, what do you think about the uh, the line matchup? Who do you think has the line diff? Although I think um, that with, the answer is. Oh! Um, unfortunately for Tax, Fred driving. Yeah. You are, uh, you're lagging a little bit, but it's all right, because it came through. I understand what you're saying. Like, Red Throbin might be a little bit of a liability on that O-line. D-line, too, maybe, especially since he's got the Vortex lined up. But in the meantime, Days did throw an interception just there to JBL, trying to find Ralstock. Shaq lined up with his like, own five, gets four yards on the run. Gets a I don't know why Days threw that. Uh, Days has to realize she's going to have 18 years in the pocket if she just rolls left. Dropping on Vortex. She just has to abuse it. I think she mentioned well is Shaq. Finding a gap in the coverage. Ralstock missing the dive. We're looking for a pick there. JBL cutting up field. Ooh, a little hurdle maybe. As he gets out to the what, 47. 38 yards. The hookup from Shaq to JBL. Not bad. Another run, but Alexander is there to stop it. Especially with no safety help from Days, that's just a crazy. Yeah, I mean, Days plays so low in there, but good play that time actually, anticipating a run, and the run came, but it was in the different, the wrong gap. 14 yard run for Shaq, and that's a first down for the Typhoons. Hippie saying this is a fat line there for Voodoo. Maybe, but Shaq gets the ball out so fast, we gotta see if. Alexander just missing a dive there. Shaq Oof. taking a run. Getting pushed by Red Throbin. 17 yards on the carry. You see. <laughs> Dogs, do you want me to be turned up or turned down? Which one is it? I'm going to turn him up. That was the last one I saw. Shaq rolls to his left. Looking for a run. This time takes it again. JK missing the dive, but Alexander biding his time and bringing him down after 16. Shaq is more effective on the ground than he is through the air right now. He looks for another run and takes it up the middle for four yards. Shaq has 54 rushing yards and 38 passing yards. Very patient. He's not shooting a gap. He's looking at Days. Uh, Days has to figure out what's going on. And I think this is the sentiment of a lot of people. Uh, oh, it's a quick out to Deadpool. That's there, touchdown for the Typhoons. Great play by Shaq. I think that's why he's in bunch. Uh, 
I saw someone in the chat asking, why is he in bunch? I think that is why he's in bunch. Extra point attempt coming out here. Well, let's see if Rith Robin and Dan can block for the extra point, because that will be huge, and they do. Blocks are in, and that's the extra point converted. Ace has to gather, dude. The only way she loses this is if she's the reason. Everything else on this field is solid. This is probably the greatest ensemble I've ever seen her with on the field. She just has to gather. And like I said, if she just rolls left, 10 years in the pocket easily. Yeah. I mean, and I think the sentiment, I was going to say it earlier, the sentiment from a lot of people is Shaq's receiving core, if this was a year and a half ago, he has the best receiving core in the game. Oh, 100%. JBL, Bond, and Deadpool, like, that is a destructive lineup, like, you know. 16 months ago <laughs> but maybe they're still maybe they still got a little bit of that shine left and we'll have to see they did flatten somebody last night like 66 to 20 this day is dropping back in the pocket right as he throws a comeback to Seb two yards on the play third and four coming up Days looking to take another run but Sacked at the line of scrimmage by Cheesecake. Zero yards, fourth and four. Fourth. Uh, Last play. time they got him with a five yard out. Let's see what they dial up this time. Day's dropping All day in the pocket. pocket. All day in the pocket. Oh, and gets it five yards. Let's see if she takes the hint from that play right there. Another thing you want to notice, Bouse is on Dan, and Bouse is not a edge, which uh, might be a problem later as this game goes on. My god, all the time in the world, and she still gets hit by Throbin. Second and 13 coming up. I felt like that was a 30-second play. Definitely. That is the third sack of the game for Typhoons. His days rolls to her right. Throws one over top. Hits DJK in stride. Amazing throw. Yeah, great throw, great catch. Great defense, though, by uh, Deadpool. That's not a throw I want to see too many times. Beautiful pocket. Yep. Beautiful step up. Great run. Solid 12 yards for Days. 17 yards rushing. 40 yards to the air. Days is throwing more passes than Shaq, but Shaq is just hammering the ground game. Days dropping back all the way to the 40, throwing one deep for DJK. Um, and that's wide there. open. Nobody playing deep safety. It's going to be diff difficult for uh, Shaq and them on defense. Uh, as you can see, that pocket was as pretty as it gets. All day in the pocket, Shaq bites down. Nobody's playing the post. It was just, just free. Two point conversion here for Days. She's feeling confident. Stepping back, looking for something. Oh, the in out from Ralstock. JBL bites. And that is two points for the Voodoo. This game's going to be a shootout. Oh, it. absolutely. I don't think there's going to be a lick of defense this game. <laughs> there's, there's been a little bit so far, but. One quarter. And Bond taking the kick return. Uh oh. Bad dive right there. The edge is being set up. Oh, but the. Contain is played very well by Voodoo, not letting him get the sideline. 30-yard return for Bond out to the 39. Good return, though. So far, all the returns this game have been 30-plus yards. As Shaq... Elite tackle. Run. That's what I'm saying about Alexander, man. Like, he reads and reacts so well, and right. I'm shocked he fell to, like, the fifth round. Yes. Definitely underrated. Not enough can be said about lining up three against three and then stopping the run. That is insane. Just a quick out there from Shaq finding Deadpool. Third and five as he drops back. This will be the last play of the first quarter as he finds Manila for six. And it's going to bleed into the second quarter here. First and ten. That, <laughs> that's an example right there. Vortex instantly in, but Shaq's just the quick release. So from the 50-yard line, Shaq rolling right. Looked like he might have run it, but oh, oh, he finds Deadpool, and Deadpool threads the needle, cuts up, and makes his way to the 30. So 20-yard catch and run from Deadpool. Shaq has not missed a pass yet. 
Five for five as he drops back in the pocket. Alexander misses. Shaq just trips over his own feet there. Right. I don't think he had to dive, but I think he just wanted the positive yard. Smart play. He probably might have had one or two more if he stayed up, but take the yards and you can get him as Shaq drops back to himself. Red S. Keenan is hit by Baus. 14 yards. Drop it four. That lineman diff is starting to get to him. You can see he's a little bit rattled. Safety pressure here. I'm not sure why when they're getting pressure with three. Shit. That cannot right. be the play. Line leak to Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan, Dan the man. Yards. Big body. You know he's coming down with that when he goes up. I mean, this is not the, the quarterback to challenge a safety pressure look against, especially like that. So much space downfield for a line leak. There's one couple things I hate, uh, Milk. If we're getting pressure with three, we don't need to send four, <laughs> ever. Yes. Fakes it to the outside, then cuts back oh. inside, gets the first on two yards. Shaq just making it happen with his feet, right? Mm. Safety pressure look, I think, just because they're inside the five. Be safer here. Is Shaq tries to run it outside right, but is hit by Seb. Great tackle. From corner. I think that was more of a bad block than a great tackle. Deadpool just didn't lay a great angle on it. Shaq could have definitely had the outside, but he decides to just run a nice little counter play. And that's a touchdown for the Typhoons. And Shaq I want to apologize. I thought there would be no defense, but that was great defense. But Shaq, is, he's just got uh, he's different right now. Shaq, he's not forcing anything. I was gonna say, going for two, he might be forced to just because of the way Voodoo set him up for it. And yeah, missing the two point conversion. 13 to 8 is the score right now. And Hippie, it's funny you say that, and I saw the song you posted. That, I was genuinely considering making that a sound effect for this game whenever the Voodoo scored. As DJK takes his kick return, tries to run up the sideline, gets past the 40 out to the 42. 33 yard return. <laughs> Days rolling to her right, stepping up. Shaq missing the dive, a spin move from Days almost. JBL missing the dive, but Shaq is there. Brings her down for 24 yard gain on the play. Days with 41 rushing yards, Shaq with 61. A five point game right now. Days fakes the step up, rolls left, and Seb just kind of stands still. Seb, you know, he's not known for yak, he's not known for catching, but he's known for showing up to the code. I'm surprised he got four yards. I thought I was going to be negative two. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. He dashed out and up. He did his job. His day's looking for a run here, finds it, making a couple tacklers miss, and gets eight yards all told. So down to the 22 now. Two minutes and seven seconds left in the first half. Days rolling left. Maybe he's trying to step up in the pocket, throwing one corner for Rail Stock, and it's there. Rail absolutely parked that. A little bit of leverage. JBL played it really well, but Rail played it a little bit. Great defense. Oh, yeah, that's... He played that as best as he could, but that was just a perfect pass. Put it right to spot, and Days, the extra point is good. Voodoo take a two point lead. Two we minutes have an left. absolute shootout on our hands. I think it's just. This game, I feel like the final score is going to be some 42 44, something like that. The Shaq takes it left, tries to cut right, gets a gap up the middle. 28 yards on the return, out to the 38. Well, I'm Shaq right here, I'm running two minutes of clock. Because they get the ball next quarter, so I'm just going up right here and getting the ball back when nobody's stopping anybody Red once again. Four man. Red Robin wide open, Deadpool even more open. Shaq does not throw the ball. He did not see them. I think he was just under too much pressure, too fast, and Alexander able to get to him, dropping him for two. Second and twelve. Days faking the blitz. Meanwhile, JBL running a comeback left side on Ralstock, and that's there. 
And Ralstock wearing a polar opposite skin. I just noticed that. He's not wearing the title skin anymore. He's shed his skin. And Shaq looking for a run. Alexander just got frozen in Alexander place. Alexander instantly in, and then his keyboard breaks. That's got to be the most insane thing I've ever seen. Maybe... Maybe Shaq dialing the, the Poppy <laughs> Shrek connection and having him dial some middle of the game. I've never seen that. Just Lieutenant that. Dan is just Mr. Oh, open. It's over. I don't I think Dan might have been sprinting. If he wasn't sprinting, he might have been able to dash for that one. Please, somebody oh. message Daze and tell her to cover the line leak. Shaq rolling to his left under pressure. Gets past the line of scrimmage, but is hit by Daze after one yard. Fourth and four for Shaq. He's in 50 range, so if he wants to try it, he can. But there's a lot of time left in the quarter. So I think he's just going to go for something short. Oh, excuse me, something short here. As he drops back to the 40. Throws it over the middle, caught by Bond. Hey, sells the inter interception. She was in the perfect place, but she jumps to the left, unfortunately. Oh. Good catch by Bond. Good read by Shaq. Yeah, first down for Typhoons. In the meantime, as... Uh, Shaq got stuck in his own pocket, couldn't find a way out, and surrounded on all sides, just dashes into bounce and eats the sack for... That time yards. the foreman gets there. One minute warning here as Shaq takes a snap, tries to roll right, has a little bit of space, and finds Deadpool. 12 yards, third and four, 50 seconds left in the quarter. I think Voodoo need to stop here, because... They need to get a stop and maybe get a score before half. That would be huge for Voodoo. It's Alexander Alex, getting the spot. Big play. Busting off of his blocks and knocking the ball out of Shaq's hands. On Cheesecake, no less. Meanwhile, she's getting a double bash as Shaq rolls left. Throws one for DJ er, for JBL. DJ K dives underneath it. I think if he dashed out and jumped, if he had a dash, that would have been a pick for Voodoo, but... He went low. It was triple covered out. It had to be perfectly thrown, and it was. Amazing play by Shaq once again. It seems like even when you're the, in the perfect place to stop Shaq, he just finds a way to make it work. Speaking of stopping Shaq, Baus with another sack. What is that sack number three for Baus? Yeah, three for three Baus. Three for Baus. Not bad for, uh, for a center, eh? Right. <laughs> Vortex Shaq. instantly drew. Pushes him in the bows. <laughs> Here's where that line dips a little different. Now you don't have to four man, and now Vortex is coming. That's the that's the half sack for Vortex though. He's gonna get some credit. Chad's gonna that. immediately roll away from Vortex. Oh, Alex is there, looking like me the out there. He says, "Pick your pockets." Ran the route for you. He's on the comeback. He he is the comeback. Alexander. Days back with the ball. That was like some, I always, as days rolls for left and rolls back right, throws one over top for Seb, can he get there? No, a little bit too far. I like to say there's a couple linemen that I call coverage linemen, like guys like Valhalla, where if they don't get immediate pressure, they will just drop back and play underneath. And Alexander's like a hybrid. He will do that, but he's also very good at rushing. So he's just dangerous all around. It's definitely a skill because at some point, you know, if the ball's not going over the top, it's going to an under route. A pick by JBL. Two Shaq, seconds left. Shaq's in 50 range, so he might try 50 to range. get time. That's the key. He needs he needs time for his receivers to get downfield and for him to get up to the line. Definitely. Do you have vanilla chip here? No. You don't roll the vortex aside, I don't think. He does not. Bow Sicily in. Though. The edge is there. Got to step up. He can't make it. That's not. It's not there. It doesn't matter. DJK with the pick. It would have been short anyways. He was not nearly close enough to throw that one to the end zone. Maybe just praying for something. But halftime score, New Orleans up 15-13. to 13. I agree, Juice. I think the Bond screen might get more than you think. The Bond screen is crazy. I've seen, I've seen Bond turn a screen play into a 50, 60-yard touchdown. Like, he – it's so stupid. I've seen him turn a two-yard in into a 50-yard touchdown. He's absolutely elite. He's one of the probably one of the best movement players in the game, if not the best. It's like even with him taking time off, like sporadically, like for large amounts of time, 
He's still very good as Shaq rolls to his right. Throws one deep for Deadpool. That's far. I can already tell. Testing Seb. Uh, I think that's the first D ball I've seen him throw to Deadpool. It's good to see him have a little trust in him, but maybe that wasn't it. Got to look at the stats earlier. Both quarterbacks are pretty similar in the passing game. Just Shaq having more yards, but completions are looking pretty similar. Shaq rolling left, trying to stay pocket. Those are underneath the Deadpool, and that's there. Ten yards in a first. Yeah. Amazing defense by Seb. Amazing catch by Deadpool. He has the edge. No, he does not. Bouse is just different. Bouse is looking like, like Vortex is supposed to look. I don't know what to say. Vor like ba this is an amazing game. Bouse having another Bouse sack for Bouse. Is playing out of his mind. Six tackles, six sacks. 27 blocks for Baus. I think he had a nice kick return to start the game off as well, like 60 yards. Baus is having a game. I don't even think he went very high in the draft oh. board. Sells right there. Jack's going to have some room to run. He throws it up. Oh! Thought he could fit it in. I honestly think he takes that. I think that's a 15-yard gain if he runs that. Yeah, I mean... Fourth and twenty-one, though you gotta find something here. He's hit by Vortex. Vortex at the Finally point. finds his mark. Shaq rolls away from him, and he's still. It's Vortex versus Red Robin. There's not much you can do. And that's killer too, because he threw the ball as he got hit. I, you saw the thing pop up in the top right. But Lieutenant Dan striking back immediately, dropping days for two yards. Second and twelve from the seventeen, eighteen. Fake run. He's dashing all That's, the way back to the 40. Thorn nothing one. is there. She throws Cost. not a <laughs> schmeckle of levy. Oh. Not a morsel of levy, but Ralstock's better, unfortunately. Oh, Ralstock. I've never seen a line drive 50. That was insane. I will update the score here in just a second. Oh, the kick is blocked by Shaq. Oh, That's a my great God. play. Eight like point game. I feel like I have one of those every game. I don't know why. That's actually insane by Shaq. That keeps this manageable when we're scoring their bag in it. Speaking of Shaq, he's going to take the kick here. Tries to go Daze. left side, but Daze. Now let me ask you a question, Milk. Shaq is... We, we think he's one of the greatest to ever do it. If Daze beats him here with these these evened teams, even though Red, Red Robin's on the field, how do you feel that affects his legacy? I don't know, Alexander in the meantime. Hey, a second, Alexander with another sack, but I don't like this is, but this is like week one. I wouldn't question somebody's legacy if they lose a season game in the first week with a new team. Like that would come into play. Like if this was a playoff game and he was down like this much at this. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow, stop! Reading the route. DJK takes the post. Days misreads the the bond route, but Ralstock is there. All right, Ralstock making himself. He's kind of pissed that Shaq didn't take him in the first round. And... An absolute laser to DJK, and they're back in scoring position. Ladies and gentlemen, Days is looking different. Days trying to run at him, but bounces off her own lineman. Oh, no. Uh, Days and Luke, these are QBs that we thought were butt cheek squared, but in this new format, they just, they just look more confident. They're just doing amazing things. Just to change Except that. <laughs> days looking for another run to Shaq. Shaq. If anybody man. has Days on her number, please message her and tell her to stop doing that. <laughs> days running. Trying to run outside left. Bond almost getting there for a sec. Dropping back to the 20. Dear God. Looking for something. Throwing it corner again for Ralstock. Too far. Fourth and goal from the two. That's probably the best case scenario there. If I'm days, I'm calling the goon. The goon witch. Send Vortex out. Roll right. I'm not. Oh, no. Was that too far inside or was it over? It was just over. See, the goon witch prevents that because if you have five linemen also running the sandwich, it's statistically improbable for you to miss it. Oh, oh! my God. Very unlucky.
Vortex, different. Oh my god, I was in an awful camera angle. I meant to press 1 and I pressed 2. I was on Daze's point of view and I... I, I fudged that up. I'm so sorry, everybody. Oh my goodness. Well, regardless, Vortex with a face pick in the end zone. <laughs> That's a touchdown for the voodoo. I gotta say, I, I noticed it's a little bit off topic, but ever since Shaq's team dropped Creamy, it looked like they were on a tear, but this game, it doesn't look like it's it. But I still think they're doing a lot better than they would if they had him out there. Creamy's, Creamy's the morale guy. You have him out there, everyone's feeling good. I think Creamy needs to be the cut guy. I think he needs to be the free agent guy, if you ask me. Yeah. 25 yard return from Shaq out to the 34. <laughs> Creamy in the chat. Still only a two score game. Shaq can. He can bring this back, albeit it has to be through passing and not running like Vaughn wide open. Oh, jeez! 10 yard sack. He's rattled. He's definitely rattled. 11 sacks for the Voodoo so far. They're reeling it in. The line difference is there. Second and 20. Shaq dropping back, stepping up, and is just met by Alexander, who is just standing Robin, in his path. Robin was blocking air right there. Alexander walks through him. Days walks through him. Mm -mm. Shaq's switching... Cheesecake out to right tackle. Oh, no, oh my pick. god. <laughs> Three lineman face pick. Alexander's is... got two picks on this game. He's got more picks than Ralstock, I think. Yeah. Alexander has more picks than Ralstock. DJ. That line is getting manhandled. My goodness. And then it's just a contrast. Stays 25 years in a pocket, makes an inside move to your game. Days is as many rushing yards as her top, or not top. I guess DJK is 81 receiving yards. Let's, I didn't realize he had that many receiving yards. Days dropping back, throwing one again to Ralstock, and it's there. Ralstock is <laughs> parking it. I don't know where he got that permit, but he's parking it in that left corner every time. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness gracious. We might have to drug test that, man. He's looking a little different than I'm used to seeing him. So, Voodoo up 35-13. JBL is just walking around in the cove. Days sends it through the uprights. 36-13. Shaq down 23. The voodoo are rolling. I Shaq didn't think... Go ahead. Was within 8 points about 3 minutes ago. And now it's a 23 point game. And Shaq dashes out of bounds. Well, even when he was up, even when he was scoring, and I saw this when he played the Roadrunner as well, he was getting, people were getting instant pressure on him, and him scoring was through magic. Shaq was just making people miss, but you can only do that for so long before, you know, frustration sets in. Once again, people instantly end, so he has to make a move. He does not have time to run with uh, about a quarter left. No. And I just, I just got word that JBL is shit-talking his own line in GFA General right now is... Let me a line leak out to Lieutenant Dan, but Lieutenant Dan wasn't eligible, so even if he caught that, it wouldn't have counted, because he threw his shield up. <laughs> so I think it was more just a throw out of bounds, but dangerous, because he did not put it high enough for it to not get uh, picked off by someone. Vortex it. instantly drew, Alex instantly drew, Days instantly drew. Finding Deadpool, though. He's downfield. Oh, no, if he didn't get blocked there by Cheesecake, I think, he might have been able to make a cut outside. But Vows putting a hand up. I don't think JBL should be attacking his line in GFA General, but they do look like a revolving. Oh, yeah. Because he gets hit again by Alexander. Ugly game. To, to give people um, you know, an idea how bad it is, Shaq started off this game with about 70 rushing yards, and he has negative seven now. Dan with a little bit of levy. A schmeckle. Dan. Touchdown, Dan. A diving dot. <laughs> it finally paid off. The Lion League deep, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. He's got no legs, but good God, that man can run. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Shaq jumping back, throwing one quick to Deadpool, but too far inside and not high enough nearly. That's picked off by Sebward. 
if you're dazed, what are you doing there? You stretching the lead out, or are you stretching the legs out and just, just kneeling for a win? Try and run this clock out. We saw what happened to Dingo when he tried to pad stats a little bit. He almost blew that game because he was trying to get an extra touchdown in the garbage time. Milk, let's show some stats to the people. Stats? All right. I haven't shown stats in a little minute here. I know what the people want to hear, and yes, Bond is uh -huh. up for like the player of the game, unfortunately. DJK wide open. Let's see if he has any yak. Goes to the middle. Makes a move. Still up somehow. Reverses field. And he gets... Honestly... I would say JBL, but he's got yards. But... I didn't even realize Seb was coming in with a, a nasty two for six. Never mind. <laughs> He heard me. Two for 15. Uh, three for 15. Yeah. Right now, seven bond dueling. Honestly, I feel like even though JBL has the yards on his days looking to run it right side, zero yards and a sack by Lieutenant Dan, even though JBL has the yards to not qualify him as locked up player of the game, he's the disgrace player of the game. Just Roustock put it on him like three or four times this game already. All on the same route in the end zone, it feels like. His day's dropping back left, but Thrawn is able to get to her. That red slowdown really causing some chaos. Definitely. I had a chance to play it as QB and a pug. It's no joke. Um, that first slide back is the last slide before you get sacked often. So it's definitely something you got to be wor worried about. Day's finding space out left. There that route stock. JBL says Steps. I bite comebacks. Give me that. Uh oh. JBL uh -oh. says, I'm not locked up player of the game. I'm taking that for 40 as well. <laughs> I, like, I think the huge, the biggest momentum shift was not only Alexander getting a face pick, them scoring, but then in the ensuing drive, Shaq throwing a face pick. To Finally finding Bond. Bond has been open on the majority of these in route. I'm so surprised he hasn't gotten the ball. Maybe it's just a grudge between title and canine players they just don't trust each other enough possibly Shaq rolling right although he was very excited to draft Manila f with his first pick 10 yard run for Shaq in fact Shaq was so excited to pick Manila when he was in the call with us in the draft room he yelled it out loud but he was not muted he did not know that screen to bond there's the bond Manila, screen a, a little bit of yak a little bit of patience and 11 yards comes out of a 1 yard screen we were saying it earlier, the Bond screen. Finally. It's getting some getting some air time. Oh, Shaq with the QP draw right up the middle. Shaq on the board. Shot. Just like that, down two possessions. It's not over yet. No, but 238 left. There's not a lot of time, but there's a decent amount. I don't think they gave up a single a single sack. They have three timeouts left. <clears throat> Shaq rolling left, looking for something. He's got Throbin open in the corner. Tries it, finds Bond. Relax, parks it over Seb. That's two. And now it's a nine-point game. And also Seb is at the bottom frag for a locked-up player of the game. I hate to see it happen to him. <laughs> He's getting the he's getting the video ready. DJ trying to get outside to that sideline. Gets a decent amount of yards. I mean, there's not much you can do blocking wise there if you're Seb. You got to try and get in front of Bond, keep him behind you at the same time, while DJ's trying to cut around you. Like that's just a hard block to execute. This day's rolling right under pressure by Cheesecake and that's Shaq. Bad. Lieutenant Dan has to rush there. What are you doing? Never mind. This game is now losable, unfortunately. Now, if Days loses this game, she might take on the Nathan Peterman of the Week Award Days from Itachi. I, I thought Itachi had it locked, but they're looking like they're about to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Shaq rolling left, finding Vanilla in pretty much triple coverage. I think Shaq's figured out the formula. Have Vanilla run anything and let him yak it up. <laughs> First.
First and ten, two oh four left in the game. Nine point game. Vanilla's oh, chips are insane. Vortex not getting in. Route oh! stop almost oh! takes that back. My god, that's dangerous. He threw its spot to him too. He had it right where he needed it to go. <laughs> Nine-point game, and the Voodoo Good who are God. cruising are now looking a little different. Oh, Vortex. Well, Vortex isn't. Vortex sack. What was that? Sack number two for Vortex, but he has a pick six, so I don't think he's complaining about that. Lack of uh, lack of touches on defense. Also, you could attribute a lot of Alex and Bowser's sacks to Vortex. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Once again, least... in. Back Almost line. a head dot. Yeah, there was at least two or three sacks that I can think of that happened just due I would to kick Vortex. This. I, I mean, but from the hash, like, that's a tough kick. Especially with the blocking that you might have. Shaq rolling, dropping back, but he's Unfortunate. Vortex. vortex is just no! different. I'm sorry. Cheesecake is in an edge. Cheesecake can't save you. First and ten for days. She's gonna take a first down run for one yard. Let's try and salt this clock away. Take as much still time think as possible to pick a play. If you take the kick there, it's a one possession game, and your defense has had a resurgence the past couple of drives against days. I think that was the correct decision. She has maybe one fifteen to work with. You have all three timeouts. That might come back to bite them. We'll see. Day's looking for another run here. Tries to cut it out right, but only gets one yard again. And the yardage not working out well for Days. The strategy is by salting the clock away, but not Well, they just yards. want the one minute warning. It's a two possession game. So if they give the ball back, which will probably be an arm punt, uh, they'll get it back and have to score twice still with one minute left in the game. Days rolling to her left, looking to step up to the line, dropping back, taking a run, three yards, and Philadelphia forced to call their first time out. Fourth and five, Days rolling right, almost hit by Cheesecake. All day in the pocket. Rail and it's there. 20 yard completion. First down, and Shaq not calling a timeout. You might know that this is GG's. Feels like it is. JBL already typing it. Low motor player. <laughs> <laughs> That's game. Uh, Sebuel, it looks like you will be getting locked up player of the game. I hate to see it happen to you, man. That was very, very close to a day's choke job, but we did not get to see it, so... Thankful for that. A w for the Voodoo. I think they remain undefeated. They do. <laughs> Lieutenant Dangan looks like a timeout. Okay. And that means tomorrow we get two undefeateds playing each other. We see Voodoo versus the Roadrunners. A lot of talk yesterday in GFA General. Between I can't MVP wait to see how it plays out. Yes, this yes. is the game. They do not like each other very much. Days jumping back to the 50, throwing one over the middle. That was a little Seb. bit of levy. Seb looking Seb. like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be mean anybody on the stream, but Seb, you're looking like some cheeks, my boy. <laughs> I saw there's a lot of animosity between one of MVP's linemen and Days are very... Uh, another try for Seb, but Deadpool was just body blocking him the whole time. Deadpool putting the coffin on Seb. He will be getting locked up player of the game. I, my greatest friend, I love him, but something's got to give. And Deadpool catches that one over Seb, and that will end the game 36-23. All told, a nine-point game to end it, but it was not this close for a long time. As Days had a 20, what was it, 23-point lead? 23-point. Sh shrunk to nine. There's the stats for you. I mean, great game from both teams. But Amazing game. One defense, I think, played just a little bit better than the other, and that would be 
the voodoo defense. The voodoo defense just kind of feasted. There was nothing really stopping them. Three lineman interceptions, one pick six. What is that? Six, 12, 15 sacks. As opposed to the, what is that, nine sacks that the Typhoons had? Right. But it is important to note that the the voodoo did four man a lot. And Days had hysterically less yards than Shaq did. Almost 100 less passing yards, but a lot more running yards. So that will make up the difference there. Other than that, I mean, this was a very well-played game. I wish we would have seen more maybe Vanilla being utilized earlier on in the game. That could have changed the tide a little bit for Shaq. And for days, I mean, not much more you could have done better other than just don't throw stupid passes. I think going forward for Shaq, and I don't feel like I should be telling Shaq because he's smarter than I'll ever be at that position, but... Just feed Vanilla, and then that'll get JBL open eventually, and then eventually Deadpool, because they cannot guard Vanilla. Nobody can guard Vanilla one-on-one, so just don't. Let them double Vanilla, and then throw outside leverage to JBL. Should be 100% winning formula, 100% of the time. <laughs> 80% of the time, it works 100% of the time. Correct. <laughs> I think that will be it for me tonight, though. Thank you. Turtle All for right. joining me up in the booth, and I will see you guys tomorrow because I will be casting the, well, co-casting actually with Gooder, the, uh, Typh not Typhoon, the uh, Grit versus Samurai game where the, uh, the, the wager is on the line between Vasquez and Anki, which if you don't know about that already, it, it's gonna, it's gonna be something. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a little something going on between those two, so. Tune in tomorrow night at 10 for that, and also at 10 o'clock, Toronto Roadrunners and the New Orleans Voodoo square off. So two undefeated teams in that contest, and you also have the Grit and the Samurai. So I will see you all tomorrow night, and have a wonderful evening. See you later.